Alright, press it. Yeah, yeah, press yes. With the selected data. Here we go. A, B is back. He's British. What do you mean by that? Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statements. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw him do it. The prosecution seeks no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. God. Thank you, Mr. Edward. Let's begin then. We may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and your profession to the court. Sir! My <laughs> name is it? Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of the homicides down at p p p p sir. p p p Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. Okay, let's study this map, Josh. The body was found by this window here. It looks like a dick. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Gameplay now, kind of. This is emanation. What? I didn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh! Smack! Hey, am I through something at me? What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always had someone to anticipate more or lots of time. I should not expect it. Why would not some of our sister's checks? If this guy is an attorney, he shouldn't be questioning himself. He should know that. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, let's give this a try. This is only a second case. My though. life is in the balance, and I want this guy who don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Something the matter? Yeah. <laughs> Are you so bad? Yeah. <laughs> no, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cause of innovation. Do you know how to do this at all, Josh? <laughs> Yeah, elder question or to present evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Press if you want to or. What did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You don't move. The call was from a customer with a 
naked in a hotel right across from the crime scene. Hmm. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm not sure if you're doing this. Right, please continue. Why is that? What's your reason? Why? We had a witness account describing her. <laughs> Just one second. Yeah. <laughs> if I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? <laughs> did, did I say that? Me? Did I, I do you that? You did say it. You <laughs> said it. Exactly. What about this suspicious woman in pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure is a pink pal. You know what I say? They're all, we're all pink on the inside. <laughs> God. Well, I, I guess she's pink. <laughs> That's space, not though. Detective Dumbshare. Dumbshare. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Oh. <laughs> mm, I guess pressing could it can't have its advantage. They're still fucking tutorializing this game. something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective, let's see your testimony again. The judge would not let him change his testimony <laughs> in the middle of the thing. <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with many eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Mayo? <laughs> on it, the word of Mayo was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. There was also blood on the victim's finger. Mm -hmm. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Uh, okay, I know it's going on. <laughs> how, how you, well, uh, how you like that? That's my heart on this. Well, I bet you when he's like with his girlfriend, he's like, hey, baby, want some hard evidence? <laughs> All right, I already know what the contradiction is here. You gotta find it. Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Your Honor? Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh, uh I know, I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Very well. The defense will begin its cross examination. All right. Do you, Do you have any clue what his his oh, lie was? Yeah. Well, review your evidence real quick with the. Oh, yeah. Just pretend. Just press R just to reveal what you got going there. You got your badge. All right. Time of death. Nine. Blah, 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 blah. Death was instantaneous. So remember that. Hey, you're not supposed to do it there. Is it yeah, you, you don't need to read this. This is a failure thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's see. Look at you. Lose your health now, Josh. Look at blank again. Yeah. You present the evidence at the part that aligns with the thing. <laughs> Yeah, this is the yeah. When it's all in green, that's the thing. Yeah. I... Right. Mayo, keep going. Or you can press if you want to, but it's pretty Mayo easy. Lab well, test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Yep. There's blood found on the victim's finger. Yep. Or she died. There you go. Yeah, you press. And then, yeah, yeah. Detective Gumshoe, do you get a lot of cases where the victim actually writes the name? <laughs> Sure, it happens all the time. Looks in the and books and in the movies. <laughs> this isn't a movie detective. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's talk about reality, shall we? Oh, I guess I haven't heard many cases in my life. 
I know you find it a little odd that the victim would write down a name, especially the name of her own sister. But, yeah, actually, you got a point, pal. Stop right there! Go back there. So go back there and then present your evidence. Go back to that spot. Look <laughs> how his mouth moves. Just. Yeah. There you go. Present the evidence that contradicts that, which is quite obvious. It's that. Extra present it. Updated. What do you feel about that, Joe? The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose I have to be as confused. Does he bow? Darn, this is good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the death of her own aunt. Yeah, innocent's the right word. <laughs> What about her sister, June, July? What part of her is innocent? Yeah, that's what you just said, basically. Yeah. 
Give <laughs> me different words for that. Yes, your name, please. Oh. At your service. Please. Why are her boobs different? <laughs> <laughs> you put on the first thing Josh sees. <laughs> Order and introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Show me those titties. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> it was like nine o'clock at night. I looked out my window, you know. Okay, that's actually way better. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The word attack room was the mousey girl sitting in the fitness chair. And the woman, like, dodged her one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with long hair, she kind of smoked. <laughs> that's mean. The end. That's all I saw. Every <laughs> little pitchy witchy win. <laughs> that voice is awesome with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Your Honor. I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Well, wait, Your Honor. What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness testimony just now was quite firm, don't you? Yeah, something's firm. <laughs> 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 One con, Winglin! <laughs> okay, calm down, let's calm down. Mr. Wright, I understand you... <laughs> I understand you. <laughs> I understand you and Miss Miss Neophase understood you, were you not? You must know her techniques well. A cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimony. <laughs> hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, what are you cross examining the, the witness? A bloody proceed. <laughs> I didn't read it, Josh! <laughs> yeah. Cross well, examine that, Sean. I know, but it's funny. Uh, you can press and present evidence and all that shit. Alright, I thought I had a better voice for her. Do it the next when he presses something. Here. <laughs> if you can. Her, the mouse. The the, the, <laughs> you know she was the defendant. Huh? Well, you know. <laughs> she had like a girlish, girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay. There's only one person at the scene of the crime with this a short girlish figure. Testimony is broken. Right. <laughs> no, he's not. Hold on a minute. That time. Oh, yeah, it stinks. What? <laughs> what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. 
Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> Why'd she look like a lizard? <laughs> oh, duh. <laughs> Mr. Marsh, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me, because I'm clueless about this. I mean... Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, my friend, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Like this on a daily basis. <laughs> That's a fucking her. insult. Jeez. <laughs> and I'm no expert on fashion, but her hair looks far more. Far. Normal. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 How I know why Josh is playing the game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did see everything. I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. <laughs> That's mean. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. <laughs> that, that, come on. Um, kind of statue club. The thinker, I think. Well, does the actress see it? The most detailed thing in the game is her physics. But if you know? Is that right? Is, it, well, is that right as in your right? As you look from the hotel? As in my name? Um, which hand I hold my knife in the game? <laughs> right, it was my right hand, right? So I'm just Mr. Wright, please continue. I'll do that. You have to find my hippie clothes. How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. <laughs> That's what you, I mean, uh, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up in like a bun. <sighs> what happened then? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that? <laughs> he sounds like her now. Is that what? Press it, the button that press, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, wait, never mind. Yeah, okay, well that's the that's part of it. Sorry! Sorry! Yeah, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be good. Her own words, trying to see, probably should be there. Squeeze the truth. Josh is enjoying this so much. All right, so I know what it, I don't know where I know what the 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 solution is, but I don't know how to get to it. But I do know what it is. That that call. 
Oh, well, you didn't press on anything but that yet. Oh, damn it. Yep, see? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's I, I think I know what it is, I, but you can try that. But I'm just looking to see Looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock. There's the and the floor plans. I don't think it's anything here. I, I mean, I doubt. I it could be, but I know what the the deal is here. I know how to get to it. Yeah. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from her from the desk. Yeah. And I she. Yeah, that clock. Okay. Maybe um present the something there. Pause. I don't know if that's what it is, but like maybe the clock itself. Sorry if it's the wrong thing, but no, it's the right thing. The music quit. All right. Miss May, what you just what you said just now is quite revealing. Yeah, like your clothing. <laughs> revealing? Ew, you like that? What is? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> True. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this the clock too. As he was found guilty of A murder. Man. Man. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Miss May, can you explain how you did you know this is a clock? Ew, uh Witness saw the matter with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense has tried to confuse the issue with the tri trivial court concerns. Yes, yes. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Knight. <laughs> yeah. But the questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I've caught murders with these questions before. Well, I was about to say. Not, not, not. <laughs> Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Phew. He stopped you there, the Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How <laughs> yeah. did you know it was a clock? What? That, that's... Because I heard it. What are you thinking about that? So you've been to the law offices of fame. <laughs> no, hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go in there? <laughs> I heard from the, my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> the law offices of fame came where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. She could have easily have heard the call. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Knight, are you satisfied? <laughs> nope. He looks like Sonic the Hedgehog if he was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> you were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard the lock go off of the building next door. <laughs> yeah. You have proof that she could not? Oh. Uh, amateurs, amateurs. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. Ah, oh, nothing. Then I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. Uh uh uh. <laughs> the prosecution denies your request. <laughs> what? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. In the objection is sustained. Damn! Time to switch directions quick. I need a mercy, Mr. Knight. <laughs> no, you're not. Can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because. It's the bottom one. Your Honor, members of the court. It was incorrect. Yeah, yeah <laughs> okay. It's broken. 
No. Do you remember at the beginning? She had the papers in the clock, remember? At the very beginning. Just look at it, Your Honor. Please examine the clock. Maybe that is right. Okay, they both work then, but yeah. It's quite empty. <laughs> Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have won. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. Fat? <laughs> well, Miss May... Santa. <laughs> I have proof. What? <laughs> what? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is... Easy. I think you know, Josh. Go back, 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 back. There you go. And you can look, yep, yeah, see? You can go through the conversation. It's not working, that's lame. You go to the next page and, um, you gotta put, take the clockwork out and put the papers inside. There you go. Then you can present that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Ew, ew, you have a girly phone. Wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Hold huh? on, hold on. <laughs> the defendant's cell phone, th this wasn't brought to my attention. Mm. Kind of what happens on Judge Judy. Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Rumble. I gotta say, I'm sure he's a guy Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock's are talking right Huh? It's not working. That's lame. But, uh... I heard... I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. There wasn't much left. That was awful. On my ears. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness had arrived at her hotel. Meh. Meh. Meh.
<laughs> how, how so, Dad? <laughs> the witness claims that, hey, the book yeah. <laughs> is a piece of evidence already submitted to the court. Wow, man. Jack! Jack! It's pretty easy if you ask me. Especially if you read the description of the, some of the evidence. Look at the clock. Look, Look at the, the clock! Read that, Josh. Read, read the description. The no, but after that. The girl. <laughs> episode. Ego waffle?
I have proof. Well, proof you're saying? Man, the corn filling some of your proof, Mr. Ronald. Now I'm in the witness mirror that thing girls are Oh, that's easy. Oh, I know! Yeah. Um, what is that? A wiretap? Yeah. Um, phone conversation? Josh is slowly figuring it out. Oh, I found this in Miss May's room. Miss, all right, please! Mr. Nielsen! Do you want me to voice for like Maya's two lines? Were you not? <laughs> Ew, ew! Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection number one. It troubles me that our witness was was in possession of a warrant. This is outrageous! This is the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone. I'll tap my phone right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still prove what you have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was on that phone? Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah, I think I can! It's simple. What? <laughs> Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Be that, right? well, yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's the broken glass. <laughs> <laughs> I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Yeah, see? Listen, what's more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim? Well, you don't have to read it because we've done this shit. You can read it if you want, but yeah. <laughs> so there's one more testimony, and then we'll, and then it's. On to the next chapter, which we can be done then. Miss April May. Do you enjoy you all used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I. I. <laughs> Just shut up already. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Did she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Josh shakes his head. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You! You lawyer! Yes, uh, it's not fair. All of you are ganging up on me like that. Oh, uh, I'm... No. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> uh, uh, wah, wah, wah. That did it. The courts... The, the, the scene, the real Miss April May now. Time to, now to deal with the final blow. You did it, didn't you? Miss <laughs> May, why did you tap her phone? Answer the question! Difficult. I have to. Isn't this a murder trial? Is it is, is it tippy tappy or er, irrelevant? <laughs> say exactly what Edward wants me to say. Miss May, you were tapping on the the victim's yeah. phone. I can I hardly call that a robot. <laughs> 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 this court does not convey the defense the defense's tone of voice. She has a point. <laughs> Why do you have well, to make a point that you don't you have an explanation for the court? At the time of the murder, I was in my hotel room getting room service. Right. How could I have killed her? I didn't say that. If you don't believe me, <laughs> just ask the bell. So there's one more testimony. Does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Right. 
either of them work. I said the oh. well. Right. On the cloud of examination. What exactly do you have to do? What? Examine? It says it's work. It no, they both they both work. Yes. That bears no relevance to the case at hand and matter. There's no way you can prove any connection. Yes, they do. Oh, great! Normally, yeah. of course, examinations are about Mr. Antoine, the prosecution, and any other witness before. No, 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 she's the last. Why? What? But that means. Maya's guilty? There you go. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. The defense would like to call See, the bellboy after. It's just a different way of getting to it. <laughs> 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 As I Here's the final testimony, then we can all be done. May I remind you, dear Mr. Wright, should you question the bellboy? And Miss April Mays alibi to prove to be solid. You then, by default, your client, Miss Maya Fay, will pre pronounce guilty. There's still like multiple hours left in this after this. Are you prepared yeah. to accept my condition? Major Wolf has got me back into the You're actually just standing. I don't see any. <laughs> I accept. Very well. Lord calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I'm the bellboy. I believe we're ready for. Our, oops. Yeah. I believe we're ready for the witnesses to test. But yeah. uh, he certainly does look like a bellboy. <laughs> yes, sir. You gave him a weird southern voice last time for no I reason. Why is he bringing a tray? I mean, yeah. He... <laughs> that tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. The judge is a moron. Uh, the final testimony for of the chapter. I'm the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel in Business Street, four generation. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for the last call to the right here right there on the dock, sir. I brought to her at precisely the request time. Look at what he's staring at. <laughs> I believe the ice call, I delivered the ice call for this man who said. I see. And the defense may begin with the process of nation. Right, I'm ready. I believe. <laughs> Sure you did. Not only did I see her in all her stunning rage, <laughs> I also heard her voice. Let me just check this one. <laughs> I saw them and I... Them? Like, them, like uh, them uh, or something? Uh, <laughs> the point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes, what that? I remember her too, though. Press what you didn't, this is, like, the, you didn't press that, so press that. Oh, it's like an hour. Are you sure it was Miss Nam? Oh, 
I did this one. Oh, did you? Maybe you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, are we? I shall we? It's my birthday. You mean one. <laughs> oh, wait, it's the one before that you didn't do, was it? Yeah, you didn't do that one. That's right, yeah. Nine on the dot, you're saying? Yeah. Yes, I confirmed the details. Several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink everything. <laughs> Why are you watching? Why is he like that? I have no clue. I don't remember what the fuck it is. Yeah, there you go. You sure it was Miss Anthony oh, herself? Absurd. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Isn't so very absolutely, sir. Is an endearing mayor of Mumbai. How come you're so very certain? Coil, when I brought the room service, she, the guest, Claramine, Coil, Coil, Embrace, Look at her, his face. Embrace, yeah. I can't read. Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss. Not a French kiss, sir. <laughs> Not a French kiss. Why would she have done that? Yeah. I believe that she was momentarily. Boys simping. Okay, Larry Lawton. Sounds kind of fishy. I think I'm missing. Yeah. It's not good. Is that it? Shut up! It's something's gonna happen. Absolutely no reason to know. Now, if you had any new tendencies, yeah. you would end this rather tense tendon. Tedious. Yeah. Hmm, it's from the 15th. The witness may have respect. I can't let this happen, can I? Wait, please wait. Yes, thanks for the friend's house. I love that. One last question. Let me ask you one last question. Like, fuck off! Your Honor, I must have dead. This charade of justice <laughs> has gone on long enough. Charade of justice. Now, now, Mr. Ezra. Right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question that's all. Okay. It's definitely not bed making, I know that much. Tell me again about uh, room service.
How do you know right? it's a man? She can be a lesbian. Because he just said it was yeah. him. Oh, true. Yeah. Yes, okay. sir. Well, shut up. <laughs> then when you brought the room service, you did see that a man, that man in the room? That's right, sir. Yeah. Your Honor, I would, if we had just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer, in light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright, is the other person? Simple, it was. The bellboy. The bellboy. That's great. The man who checked in with Miss May. Why was that even a Earth. question? Your Honor, as has been as has been previously Please. revealed, Miss April May was tapping the Miss herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. This a policy. However, that does not mean the clear man was not with her. Bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, my, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late. I suppose you'd like it if it was too late. After all, it was you who were here. Of the other man from this court. Oof. Yep. <laughs> uh, upstart. Amateur. Th these accusations are l ludicrous. Yeah. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's honor. I expect the prosecution and the defense to look less massive. But this is the pausing point. Am I understood? Yes. <gasps> Your Honor! <laughs> that is all for the trial of my affair. Court is adjourned! There's a little more. This is barely anything, though. This is. Mr. Wright! You were missing me! Really? <laughs> yes! I think there might be a new spam. Oh, God. Goodness Christ, you're mine. Yeah. No, there's more. Um, well, yeah. No, I don't think so. No, see. That man with my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, this doesn't matter. This is just bullshit conversation. There you go, to be continued, ready? Oh, good fucking god! Alright. So yeah, yeah, you got, you gained, this is the last thing we'll get, you gained her testimony if you ever need it. There you go.